Hello everyone, Lisa here, and I'm back with some updates of the Windows handheld mod. So I'm going to go ahead and download all of these files from GitHub. There is a link in the description. And we're going to go over a few of the new scripts I've added. Right click and select extract all. Just extract it. And then double click on the folder you just extracted. All right, and now we can see all of our scripts. So the new ones are this install script, this VBS script, sleep optimization, and uninstall script. So the sleep optimization, it's just a quick assortment of a few commands I found helpful. Basically, I find if you run this, when you turn off the screen and turn it back on, it tends to behave more like a Steam Deck. So if I go ahead and just run that, and it just mentions that it'll adopt a sleep mode similar to the Steam Deck. It mentions the auto sign in, you'll want to do that. And you'll want to have no Windows password. With the best results, it's what I have. And then, yeah, that's already run, it's done. That's it for the sleep optimization, pretty straightforward. Now for this install script, the star of our show. Just want to look on more info, run anyway. It's going to open twice here, so you'll see it open and it's going to have a yes or no prompt. Want to hit yes and that'll run it as administrator because we are making some changes to the system. Just going to hit enter to acknowledge that. And now it's going to start unblocking the scripts we just downloaded and it's going to ask you which launcher you want to use. So we have the option of Steam, Play Night, or Custom, which is any launcher that you can think of that uses the standard executable file. It can't be anything from the Microsoft Store, like the Xbox launcher, that just would not work with this. All right, so I'm gonna start off with Steam, and don't worry, you don't have to type exactly right. If you do make a typo, it'll just ask you to try again. So I'll just type in Steam, hit enter, and now, there is an optional boot movie. With the Steam client, it really doesn't matter because Steam already has a built-in boot movie. So if you really don't want to use mine, which again, you don't have to, you just hit no and, and then hit enter. So it's going to run a few different things. You're going to see this file explorer window come up. You can just close that. You don't need it. And basically what has happened is the Steam scripts have moved to your videos folder, just like in the original tutorial. It turned on the auto hide taskbar. That's why you saw Windows acting a little weird and the file explorer coming up. It was just enabling that setting. It also detected that I am running Windows Defender. All right, so now it's asking if you want to use the VBS script or if you want to do it exactly the way we did it in the original tutorial. So the advantage to the VBS script is it completely hides that Windows command prompt window that you see minimized. What? It's just an ordinary crabby- OH MY GOODNESS! SQUIDWARD! That's completely gone. It's just a black screen when you first launch Windows. And then you see your boot movie load in, if you have one of course. And your launcher of choice will just appear. It'll be very seamless, kind of like the Steam Deck. Now, that does sound ideal, of course, but thing is, if you are using anything that's not the standard built-in Windows Defender uh, for like an antivirus, you probably are in for a bad time, so I would not recommend trying that script if you have antivirus software. I did do a survey. It does seem like most people with these handhelds don't bother with it because it's kind of clunky anyway. So if you just have Windows Defender, by all means, go for the BBS script. Probably going to be just fine. The only thing I'll note is Windows is trying to phase these out. They've been around for a very long time and they just don't want to deal with them anymore. So I'm trying to get rid of them. You might have to do a workaround in the future to keep this working. But for right now, seems to be just fine in Windows 10 and 11. So by all means, have some fun with this. If you run into any issues, 
Maybe just keep a copy of the uninstall script just in case. And if you do have a different antivirus and you want to give this a try, I recommend looking up how to add an exception beforehand just because the VBS script, at least when I tried this with AVG without adding the exception, it was flagged and removed and resulted in a black screen for me. So I'm going to type in VBS. So it went ahead and it added the exception for Defender. And just kind of some disclaimers and basically confirmed that everything is installed. All right, we're good. We got Steam installed basically default settings. So I'm just going to go ahead and sign out and show you what look this looks like. So I'm just going to sign in. I don't have a password, so that's why I didn't ask me for one. So you can see black screen. There is no command prompt window. And I don't actually have a boot movie for Steam. I deleted it. But as you can see, Steam is loading. There was no sign of the desktop. Everything's cool. So I'm going to do Steam again, just to show you the other options. This time I'm going to say yes to my boot movie, move the scripts, and now it just wants me to delete the boot movie files. So I'm just going to hit yes, otherwise you will get two boot movies and that is not ideal. This part, this part takes the longest, it's just downloading the ffplay.exe file. You, you can download this using the link on the GitHub or the video description and it does check to make sure that this is downloaded on your system so if you had it already you're not going to see this. All right so it finally finished downloading. It just did what it did before where everything ran and now we're at the final setup. This time, I'm going to just go with default just to show you what that's like. I'm going to go ahead and sign out. And it's going to look a little different when I start up. Alright, so yeah, the default isn't that bad. The little minimized thing was on screen very quick. If you're just doing the sign out and sign back in, you're probably not even going to see it. You just shut down and you're turning it back on. You might see it for a split second. It annoyed me a bit when I first got this up and running, but I'm not staring at my deck while it turns on anyways, so I didn't really notice it. The other side effect to this is if you have anything that starts up as your deck does and it's not in the script, like I have Handel Companion here, it'll look like that, look weird, until you just go ahead and click on it and minimize it. All right, and that's it for Steam. Now we have Play Night. Play Night's going to be very similar. Since Play Night doesn't already have a boot movie built in, I'm just going to hit yes. And I'm just going to go default again. Hit enter. And I'm going to sign out and test it. Yeah, there you could see it for a split second, the script just being minimized in the corner. Anyway, that was pretty much it for Play Night. Let's try a custom. Custom. Did the startup movie. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this. This is just the one for Steam. So just as an example, I'll paste it in. Your path should look like this. Or it can be without quotation marks. I have it so it'll work either way. And then it'll ask if you want a launch command. I'm just not going to put one just to show you how that is. And then it asks default or VBS. I'll go VBS this time. Just gonna go no for this last one. And I'm just gonna copy the example verbatim. I'll do dash big picture. You will have to be extra careful on this step just because it's not gonna verify your launch command. So if you run into any issues, 
You might have just had a typo right here. It does look a little weird because it's, you know, a little cut off. Kind of wraps around. But if I move it, you can see it's dash big picture. So that should work just fine for this. And just to show off the VBS again, I'll do that one. Yeah. And that's an example of what would happen if you typed in the command wrong. You find whatever launcher you're using doesn't load before the desktop does, you can always adjust the timeout. Do that, just go over to the startup.bat, right click, edit, and change this number right here. I'll just make that 10 and that should fix it. All right, so that's the basics of the install script and the uninstall script is pretty easy. It, it'll basically undo everything we did. So it'll turn off the auto hide taskbar. It'll remove all of those files in your videos folder. It'll remove any modifications made to any of the Steam shortcuts. And you just want to hit enter and you're done. It has been successfully uninstalled.